All right, this problem here is that we have a value of $82.94, which we know is going to turn into $102. So an example of this is basically, all right, we, we know we have something that we want to buy that's worth $102, right? So in seven years from now is that we are going to have $102. And right now we have $82.94. So we're just trying to figure out at what interest rate will this 82.94 turn into $102, okay? Uh, now, the way we solve this up uh, is that we're going to have our basic time value of money formula, present value is equal to future value, divided by one plus R raised to the T power, okay? So we have all the stuff here ready to go, except for the R, because that's what we're solving for. We're solving for discount rate, the interest rate, right? They're basically the same thing is that we're going to have this $82.94 is equal to the $102 divided by 1 plus R raised to the 7th power. Okay, uh, And then when we do a little bit of solving, a little bit of manipulation here, is this algebra is basically going to uh, be equal to R is equal to the 7th root of the 102 divided by 82.94. Okay, and this is all here, and then subtracting off of one. Now, if we need to do a uh, do a seventh root, uh, this is going to be that y to the x on our on our calculator. Uh, so basically, we're taking this 102 divided by 8294 and raising it to the one seventh power, and then subtracting the one off of that, and that's going to end up giving us the 0 0.03 or uh, three percent. Okay, now. Um, I know most of you are probably gonna, not going to be doing this the algebraic way, so we're going to be plugging this into our, our financial calculator, which is actually very quick and easy to do. So um, we have the a number of buttons here. We have our present value, future value, our interest rate, N, and payment, right? There's five things. And if we are solving here, is that remember is that if we have uh, if we have we can only have one unknown in any equation. So we have to plug something in if we're solving for one thing, which in this equation we're solving for i over y. So that means we have to plug something into each of these four other components. So we know that our present value here is going to be 82.94. Future value is 102. Uh, the interest rate is what we don't know, so that's what we're solving for. N is going to be 7, right, because we have 7 years. And our payment is going to be 0. Remember this part here is it's the annuity portion, okay? So that's basically, that's when we have repeating payments going on. But in this case, we don't have those. So we're just doing, doing that. If we have one value going to another, that payment's going to be zero. And then we just hit the compute button, right? We hit compute and then I over Y. And that's going to give us out the same exact number here. It's going to tell us that our answer is three, right? So that's at 3%. And that is essentially what our answer is, whether we do it algebraically or if we do it through the calculator.